I'll go back to Queenie Pops. Um, thought I'd mix it up a bit and I'm gonna do the 50 random tag, 50 random questions tag. Um, got some new subscribers recently. I've also got something on my lip. Uh, got some new subscribers recently. And so I thought, just, just do it. Just gonna do it. Let's do it. One, what was the name of your future daughter or son? What would you name? Uh, I have all the children that I'd like, thank you very much. I have two. Um, I have my son who is seven, he's called Mackay. And I have my daughter who's two, she was two in February, she's called Akira. So Mackay and Akira, don't take those names, they're mine. Uh, do you miss anybody? Yes, I do. I miss my great grandmother, Nanny Queenie. Um, she was really influential and important in my mum's life. Um, and especially when she was a young mum. So um, I was named after her as a token of respect. So my grandma was called Queenie and I got named Queen after her. But everyone just presumes that no one in the world could be possibly be called Queen. So they always call me Queenie, which I'm very quick to correct them because that's not my name. What if I told you you were handsome or pretty? You can call me handsome if you want, I don't mind. Uh, yeah. Pass it over, make some joke about it. Have you ever been told it's not you, it's me? Yes, I have. Um, yeah, I have. What are you looking forward to next week? Half term. Half term. I am going to the Science Museum with my son. We're going to do loads of full, uh, fun things. My daughter is going to my mother-in-law's for a couple of days. So all like the arts and crafts and the painting and the dinosaur stuff that he got for his birthday, we can now pull all that out and do all of that without being interrupted or having a toddler paint herself. And it's my mum's birthday lunch at her house. So yeah, next week should be a good week and we pray for good weather. Uh, did you go out or stay in last night? Stayed in. How late did you stay up? Half ten? Oh yeah, rocking it. Oh, has anyone seen you in your underwear in the last three months? Yes, definitely. What were you doing at 12.30 this afternoon? This video. Don't know what all the pointing is about, but I'm doing it. Um, have you ever told someone you loved them and not actually meant it? Most probably yes. Definitely yes. Yes. I don't know why I'm smiling. Yes. <clears throat> I did. Wrong. Very wrong. Or oh, whatever. Silent times. Um... Could you go for the rest of your life without drinking any alcohol? Yeah. No. No. Rest of my life? Nah. Have you ever pretended to like somebody? Yes. And I tell you what, let's just have a moment. Yes, I have gone through my life pretending that I like people because I tell you why, it makes the situation 10 times easier. As you get older, you will find that you will do this a lot. Now, at school it's different because you are with these people 24-7, you're with them all the time. You kind of grow up with these people from school. So, And also when you're younger, you are way more vocal about your emotions and your feelings and your thoughts. Whereas, say for example, what I'm thinking of straight away is like, like an office environment, like at work. There are always going to be people that you don't like. For God's sake, you could have a boss that you absolutely hate, but do you know what? You can't tell anyone, you've got to get in there, do your job and get on with it. And you sign their card on their birthday, you put a pound in their pot for their birthday present, say for birthday, job done, you get on with it. There are always going to be situations like that in life. As you get older, who cares if you don't like anybody? You know, when you're like 16 or whatever, you've probably got like 20 something friends. When you get to my age, you don't want 20 something friends. You probably want five to 10 friends that you can rely on and you know you don't need a massive group of people well hey if you have that's great but I think especially talking to a lot of girlfriends recently when we were coming like to the end of our 20s um, talking about stuff and friends and yeah yes yes I have liked someone and it's I find it's always the best thing to do uh, Good to go the rest of your life without smoking a cigarette. Yes. Is there one person in your life that always makes you smile? Everyone makes me smile. Um, doesn't take much. Obviously, 
boyfriend and children always, always, always make me smile. Um, and my friend Joe, actually, he always makes me smile whenever I hang out with him. So, yeah, but most of my friends have a giggle and stuff. I, yeah, I'm kind of a smiley person. Um, is it hard for you to get over someone? It's been a long time since I've had to get over somebody. And I tell you what, didn't take me long. So, no. When I was younger, yeah, oh God, crying into my pillow and yeah, but not now. And I won't ever have to do it again, fingers crossed. Um, think back five months ago, were you single? No. Have you ever cried from being so mad? Pretty much every week. Yeah, especially last night, my son got grounded, so. Yeah. A lot. Hold hands with anyone this week? Yes, my daughter yesterday, we were crossing the road. So cute. Did your last kiss take place in or on a bed? Nope, it was by the front door. What, who was the last person you saw? My daughter, just put her to bed for her nap. God, it's really boring mine, isn't it? Because I'm just a mum, like mum questions. I need some wild ones. Um, what is the last thing you said out loud? Wild ones. Uh, have you kissed three or more people in one night? No. Do you know what? No. I probably was quite promiscuous in the past, did some crazy things. I can categorically say I wasn't the one that used to go to the disco and like how many people can we kiss in a night, which a lot of my girlfriends did. I didn't go, not because I didn't want to. My mum was extremely overprotective of me and I was never allowed to do anything. Never allowed to go out, never allowed to go to the under like 16 disco, anything like that at all. So I haven't done that, but I do remember hearing all the stories from my friends on Monday morning, but no, I've, I've not done that. Um, have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I have, school trip maybe 14 or 15, and would love to go back. Me and my boyfriend talk about it all the time. We don't talk about it all the time, actually. But it's something that I think, I'm waffling. Anyway, are you good at hiding your feelings? Fifty-fifty. I think maybe. I'm gonna go maybe on that one. Maybe. Do you use chapstick? I don't know, lip balm? Yeah, sometimes. Who did you last share your bed with? My boyfriend, what listening, what music are you listening to right now? I actually listen to Tracy Chapman. Now that's gonna make me sound really old because I reckon that half the people that follow me on here don't even know who I'm talking about. But there you are, that's what I'm listening to. Um, what is something you currently want right now? <sighs> Do I just pick one thing? What is something you currently want right now? I'd like to, apart from lose weight, get a bit more money. Um, I'd like more subscribers to my YouTube. That's what I would like. So if you're watching this video, subscribe. That's what I would like. Were your last three kisses from the same person? No. How is your heart lately? Good, thanks. Uh, do you wear the hood on your hoodie? I do. What was the last time a member of the that? When was the last time a member of the opposite sex hugged you? Um, this morning, my son and my boyfriend. What do people call you? Seriously? Okay, what do people call you? Queen? My best friend Peggy calls me B, as in Queen B. Um, Queen. Some family members do call me Queenie and I kind of, I've let that go. There's like three people I think that call me Queenie, but everyone calls me Queen, Mummy. Um, I'm trying to bring Q back into my life. People calling me Q. Uh, I used to get called Q a lot in my 20s. Um, I keep saying like, in my 20s. I'm not old. I'm 31. Don't judge me. Um, yeah, when I lived in a different town, everyone used to call me Q, but no one really does that anymore. I'd like to bring that back, please. Um, have you ever wanted to tell someone something but didn't? Probably all the time. What are, oh, are there any, oh, are there any stressful situations in your life? Yeah, having a toddler. Uh, <laughs> enough said, I don't even want to go into it. What are you listening to right now, sound of my voice? I'll tell you what I do like though, the new Pharrell and um, Daft Punk song, effing love it. I actually am listening to it a lot. This seems like a lot. And anything by Disclosure, bloody love Disclosure, and Rudimental, 
amaze absolutely three things if you don't know what i'm talking about go and find it the pharrell song with daft punk brilliant rudimental amaze that's a band and who was the other one disclosure all over that right now absolutely loving that um what is wrong with you right now <laughs> what's wrong with me Apart from my spotty skin, which I talk about all the time, it's getting a bit boring. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Um, do you make wishes at 11 11? No, I'm an adult. What is on your wrists right now? Nada. Naked. Naked. Um, are you single, taken, heartbroken, confused, waiting for the unexpected? I am taken. Thank you. Um, where did you get your shirt or sweatshirt you're wearing? I am wearing this, I don't know if you can really see. I've got to move, didn't plan this, did I? I'm wearing this top here, which makes me look extremely booby, um, which is from Henny's, just a little studded t-shirt. And the material is kind of like, um, feels like, like the organic cotton that you get. And this um, boyfriend cardigan is from New Look, if you're interested. Um, have you ever regretted kissing someone? Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, have you hugged someone in the last week? Yes. Have you kissed anyone in the last five days? Yes. What were you doing at midnight last night? Sleeping. Do you miss the way things were six months ago? No. Would you rather sleep with someone else or alone? That's tricky. Because it's funny what you kind of get used to. My boyfriend... Um, comes home really late at night, so I always go to bed by myself. And also I wake up in the morning and he's there. Ta -da! Uh, but I have to say, like at the weekends, I don't like it if we both go to bed at the same time. I find it really, like, it's just odd him being there. So 50-50, I love waking up, obviously he's there, but I like to go to bed on my own, I think. Oh dear. Um, have, you been, ever, have you ever been to New York? No. Think of the last person who said I love you. Think of the last person who said I love you. Do you think they meant it? Yes, I do. That's it. That's my 50 random questions. Um, I hope you were able to keep up. I hope I haven't bored you stupid. Um, thank you. Yesterday was an amazing um, like subscribers and viewing day. Um, I've never had so many people watch my videos at the same time. It's really, really cool, and um, hopefully things can only get better. Every time I think, oh, I'm not going to do this anymore, I get loads of subscribers. So I'm really happy about that. Love it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Quinny Pops Love, and you can find me on Twitter, Quinny Pops, and also on Instagram. So <clears throat> uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I would love it for you to subscribe. Um, and as always, I'm here for you. And if you want to ask me any questions about anything or do a makeup tutorial or say that you don't like this at all, then holla! I don't really care. Let me know what you think and um, have a super, super day. I'm going to stop singing my words now. Goodbye, I love you, bye.